Hello everyone and welcome back to another Mother Cheddar's video. Now get ready for something amazing before your very eyes boom. There we go. Now what you're seeing is something you've probably seen God knows how many times on this channel and it is of course a boss bug battle. Now a lot of you are probably wondering why the hell is why the hell is the termite king in there? He's a boss, all right? He is a boss. This is day God knows how many of my petition to keep mentioning that the Termite King's a boss until they make him a boss and put him in the boss tier category. He's a king, God damn it! This is sexism at its finest, and this is what way to start. We've got the Wasp Queen. The Queen gets to, you know, Queen gets to be in there, but not the king. What's going on here? Come on, sort it out. He's a good little boy. He is. But um, anyway, yes, as you've read, <laughs> as you've read the title. Sorry for that intro. You know exactly what's happening here. So. As you may have expected, old infected broodmother over there, she only has one life. And to try and make it as fair as I possibly can for the other bosses, I know it shouldn't be like this because she's supposed to be this good and supposed to absolutely annihilate everything. But because she's so good, I thought I'd try and level it out a little bit more by giving the other bosses multiple lives. So the boss, uh, I use air quotation marks, he's just died is the one I'm talking about. And another one spawns in his place. It's amazing that that happens. I've set up the spawners so as soon as one of them dies, another one will spawn. I think the most lives so far is the Termite King because his health is so little in comparison to the rest of them. He has six lives. <laughs> I don't have a bias against him. I'm not in love with him. Maybe just a little bit. But the rest of them, I think Schmechter, Schmech, now Schmechter and Assistant Manager, I put two for Schmechter, two for Assistant Manager because they are the um, tag team duo of the century. Uh, the man is probably about two or three, if I remember. Wasp Queen is two. There, there we go, there we go. You're going to see it's going to get very, very messy because we're going to have a lot of corpses around. Broodmother regularly thinks about four, so she's sitting around 10,000 HP in total. Like, I, I say this all the time, I know that's not really making it fair because there's different... They all have, like, different thresholds, different stat effects, they have different damage, different defense. But to sort all that out is just ridiculous, so I'm just going to stick to one stat and try and make that as even as possible. There's one life down! One life down! Oh! But wait, what? Oh, right, I wondered why... <laughs> The, the Mantis' delayed death there, I was wondering what was going on. I thought I'd messed up somehow, but no. No, I thought I'd spawn them all in at the same time as well because the randomizer, it's not buggy, but it just doesn't work the way I would have wanted it to. Um, so I've decided to just spawn them in all together. It is a little bit glitchy just because the amount of stuff that's going on here. To be fair, I'm surprised that this little bad boy down here hasn't been knocked out yet, unless he has and another one spawned in his place. I'm not too sure. You're probably thinking, oh Liam, when are you gonna stop just spamming out bug battle videos? Uh, it's just added so many different variables to it now. There's so much more to play around with. I know it, like, I've done this before, but now I can do it on such a larger scale and there's loads of different things I can mess around with, like giving them multiple lives, and I just sit here. I just sit here having the time of my life watching this all, all go over, making bets on which bug's gonna win. I reckon it'll be the Wasp Queen, but you know, and plus, it also gives me some time some time to make some other stuff in the background. I know Marcus is making some stuff because he's got the new update and he wants to make some maps for, for myself to play through. I'm working on some stuff as well. I'm trying to get a COD-style zombie map working, up and working, round-based. Obviously, it's not zombies, it's going to be creatures, but I've tried to replicate a COD zombies map, make the round-based game working with a magic box and everything. It's coming along pretty well so far but it's a lot of work like in the background so I'm just doing this to sort of like tie you guys over for now. <laughs> oh I didn't realize that I must have missed that while I was just constantly talking is um oh man boy down here he died he died but don't worry there is another one there is another one I kind of want to run in to stop all of the bodies piling up but you see the thing is is I can't go any further than this this is Pete's view currently. You can see the little lever there, which is linked to all the spawners. But there's a there's a blocking area here, so I can't actually go through. It's to stop them from attacking poor old Pete. Not that they would. Who would want to attack Pete? You know, he's great. He's a good little lad. But you know who I think is going to win is the Wasp Queen. Who do you think is going to win? Who do you think is going to win? People usually do this. Type down below. Type down below and then update with an edit, potentially. If your prediction was correct, I say Wasp Queen just because no one can really reach it. So yeah, I'm gonna go for her. Some people might say Mantis. Who knows, are they starting to spread out a little bit now? Which could mean it goes either way. 
Leg oh no, he, he he has he has died. I was about to say the system manager's on a mad one, but no, he's on his last life, unfortunately. Schmechter's still on his his first. I think it is currently Schmechter Wasp Queen that haven't died yet. You know, you let the infected broom over Wasp because her first life is only like two thousand HP. She's not the best on her first life, but she gets better. She gets better. Oh, Schmecht is out of there. As I was saying, that Schmecht went. He went. Oh, it's annoying because look at the Termite King. He gives up. Look, he's just going. For, he doesn't care. He's going for everyone. He's going for absolutely everyone. You know, he shouldn't really be put up against these guys. Up against the Mantis. And he's still. He's knocking him out. His knockout blows is what makes him absolutely lethal. God, the Wasp Queen is going to annihilate everything with that bomb attack. Especially if they're all, all crowded together like this. I, I don't want to. I want to see the Termite King outlast at least one of them. Hey, that's the thing I don't get as well. The Termite King is. I would say he's better, and I'm pretty sure he beats the assistant manager. How come the assistant manager's a boss? It's no. I'm not having that. Does does the Termite King respawn? I, I honestly cannot remember. It's been so long since I've played legit and been able to fight him. But from what I remember, he's he only spawns once, like the assistant manager. So he doesn't like naturally spawn. Oh, I guess he does actually naturally spawn, doesn't he? Once he was an absolute king, but now not so much. Not so much. Come on, Termite King. I think this is his last life. Take the Broodmother out. Take up the Broodmother. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> no! Yes! Yes! He's back! He's back! <laughs> I did do this fairly. I did do this fairly. I swear I did. I didn't just spawn in a load of Termite Kings because I thought, you know, he might have a chance of winning this. I still don't think he has a chance of winning this. So get him. Get him. No, he's knocked out. This is definitely his last life. There's no way he's coming back after this. Get in the fight. Why are you always out here by yourself? You have the most HP out of all of them still, and you're just avoiding everyone. That's it. What is it with these two? Are they like natural sworn enemies? Every time I look down at it, these two are just going toe-to-toe -to -toe with each other. That's it, man. Take over for a bit. Let him heal up. Nah. Knockout. Yeah. Get her, Tommy King. Get her. Assistant manager's still going. Who's going to be the first one out? Who is going to be the first one out? I say assistant manager. I hope it is. And not Termite King. But again, like this this can go either way. Because depending on who attacks who and who they decide to go for initially, once they all get spawned in, makes a massive difference. Because I could do this again and you'll find that someone else will win. Someone completely different. It is, it's crazy. It's just unpredictable. Volatile. Is that the Broodmother out? Is she gone? Is that all four of her lives? I think it is. Yeah, it definitely is. Broodmother. Didn't expect that. Did not expect that at all. Maybe she has terrible defense. I was expecting Assistant Manager and Termite King to be the first ones out. But it goes down to the Broodmother. She is in last place. Last place. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Guys, come on, stop teaming up. Why are you teaming up on the Termite King? <laughs> yeah, that's what you get. Knockout blow. Knockout blows. No! He's out! No! Termite King's gone. There we go. He outlasted the Broodmother. Broodmother's a boss. Why isn't he a boss? Why isn't he a boss? Assistant manager must be gone soon. He's too small. Like, everyone just ignores him. Like, no one's really threatened by him. Well, they feel bad. They just think it's Schmecter's son, so they're like, oh, I'll leave him alone, actually. Now they're going for him. Look at these two. Ah, oh, he's out. He's gone. He is gone. I'm pretty sure they're all on their last life as well. So the next one out will just be gone for good. He says, as the man dies, the man is dead. The man is dead. Four remain. Four remain. Oh, I was scared for a second then. I thought that was the Infected Broodmother's last life. Like, oh, it's just, ah. Uh, like, that is a second wind. That is just such a second wind there. Just when you think they're down and out, it's just, no, there we go. Mantis is out of there, and that was the last one. Yep, last one. Mantis is in at fourth place. We got the remaining three. This is where it gets serious. This is what separates the men from the boys. Oh, that's his first life gone. Infected Broodmother has dealt the Wasp Queen its first. Now this is going to be an even fight right now. Because I would say in the time she went on to her last life, which is 6,000 HP, she probably lost a good chunk of it. I would say at least around 1,000, maybe a little bit less. And now the Wasp Queen spawned in. So they're even. They're evens, like, health-wise right now. 
sitting about 5,000 each. Schmechter, there's no way Schmechter's doing this. Unless he's got some like sick defense strat or something. He's, he's never winning this. He is dead. He's dead. Like now, he's taking down damage. He's doing damage to infected uh, Broodmother. Whilst Wasp Queen's just, you know, just sitting out there doing nothing. Would I be right in thinking then? Again, I would like to know. There you go. He's, he's gone. He's gone. Third place, Schmechter, as expected. Would I be right in thinking? And yeah, comment down below. Let me know because I'm quite interested. Would the Wasp Queen's bomb attacks heal the infected Broodmother? I'm pretty sure everyone would agree with me when they say the most difficult is obviously Infected Broomover and then Wasp Queen a close second. Like, I remember they brought them out fairly... The timing between the two of them was fairly close, if I remember correctly. And the Wasp Queen came out and everyone was like, oh my god, it's too difficult, I can't do it. And then Obsidian were like, well, you think that's bad? Check out this. And then brought in a creature with three lives and one of those lives is 6,000 HP and an absolute mad lad. Like, look at her go. Oh, there we have it. There we have it. She. Oh, I died. I died. Somehow. She's that strong. She killed poor old Pete. Even though. Look at his eyes. God, that's terrifying. Even though player health and player damage was, was off. So he shouldn't have died. He died anyway. Uh, thanks for that, Infected Bruma. Thanks for that. Ruin my bug battle video? Uh, but anyway, there you go. As expected, uh, my prediction was completely wrong. How was your prediction? How was your prediction on that one? I wasn't far off. You know, Wasp Queen came in at a close second. You can still see the glow in her pretty little eyes. And then infected Broodmother again. So even with everything sort of balanced out, it still goes in favour of the infected Broodmother. She is too good. She's too good. Should they nerf her? Should they not nerf her? Should they bring in creatures? in the future that are just as good as her or better than her? Is that the way they're going? Does it make all the other bosses sort of obsolete? Because I guess it's a learning curve. Like you get, you're supposed to progress and get better. But there we go. There we have it. Thank you for watching people. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Goodbye.